The National Peace Accord is the first step to ensuring an election that is devoid of rancor. The Peace Accord is the brainchild of the National Peace Committee, headed by the former military head of state, General Abdul Salami Abubakar. The committee is made up of eminent Nigerians, including four women and businessmen, Mr. Aliko Dangote and Mr. Femi Otedola, who undertake efforts to support free, fair and credible elections. The first Peace Accord is to commit all political parties, presidential candidates and their spokesperson to peaceful political uh, campaigns and rallies devoid of violence, incitement and personal insult, but also to define by issues at the very heart of the national development and progress. The second accord, God willing, will come up shortly before the election, and it is intended to commit the candidates to accepting the outcome of the vote as long as it is adjudged to be free, fair, and credible. We hope this will take place sometimes in January uh, next year. Whereas INEC is making tremendous progress, we are witnessing activities by political actors that don't do justice to the process. That is the unacceptable the labor of vote buying. Now we are aware of the capacity of this process to undermine the entire project of democracy. Yes, Nigerians are poor. Yes, Nigerians are, are suffering. But none of that is a substitute. And politicians must not em, em, exploit the weaknesses of our people in the way a manner that has made vote buying part of our culture. Members of the international community are also on ground to witness the signing of the peace accord as they continue to watch the electoral process in Nigeria with keen interest. As the largest democracy in Africa, Nigerian elections do matter, and not only for Nigeria. Nigeria's election will also be about the future of democracy in West Africa and the continent. This is why they are so important. We wish to reiterate our commitment and our support, but also to stress our impartiality. We are not here to support any particular party or any particular candidate. We are here, at your invitation, to support the process through international expertise, independent observation, and support for key institutions. We are committed to continue supporting the consolidation of the democratic process in Nigeria with our technical support, sharing of experience and good practices, and political engagement. The peace accord may not be legally binding on the political actors, but there are consequences for not playing by the rules. It is essential that this unique forum be utilized to remind all political parties, citizens, and other strategic stakeholders in the electoral process of key provisions of the Electoral Act 2022 as amended in relation to conducts that could negate the spirit and the intention of this peace accord. Isaac Ude, candidate Felix Osakwe. 18 political parties penned their signatures on the peace accord, indicating their willingness to pursue a rank of free electioneering campaign. What is left for the parties to do is match their commitment with action.